Hello everyone, welcome, my name is MJ Pestridge, welcome to another P3D video, and I'm um, just about to set up for a flight here, uh, I'm in the Stratocruiser from A to A, and I'm in um, La Palma, I think it is, uh, La Palma or Lanzarote, one of the two, anyway, it don't matter, um, and it just dawned on me, I've never done a video which shows you, because obviously this, uh, this uh, beast of a plane here, has uh four engines you know and i'm able to manage them all with the two sightic throttle units that i have um as well as the flaps and uh well there is no speed brake in this thing but i just it just dawned on me that i've never done a video that sort of demonstrates um how to set up any control system in p3d and um you know but a couple of people ask me and it's a pretty simple process but then i thought you know what i'll just do a video as well so if you have a, a hardware controller be it uh honeycomb or Cytec or even just a throttle with a slider function of a throttle on it it's the same process for setting it up coming here into the control section of p3d where it says access assignments now i have two files here and i do recommend um once you've set it up to export it as a file so i've got my four engine set up so my two sighted controllers which have three um control configurable access controls on it um, which means i've got six in total um i have set up here so i've got four engines and then i've got two that are free for something else and then obviously i've got a two uh throttle setup and most planes will have a two throttle so that means i have got a mixture and a propeller as well then on top of that so let's say we're going with the four um engine here so Input. Make sure I import the right one here. So, under the axis assignments, anything that is uh, assignable here, making sure that at the top where it says controller, that you're selecting the correct um, hardware. So, if you're setting up your joystick, you select that. If you're setting up a throttle unit, you select set that. It's like whatever you're setting up, make sure it's selected here, and then um, you'll be able to set up. Now, there's a lot of options here, but all of these rely on an axis you know um control you can't key bind these ones so uh there's a lot of options here and you literally uh so we got engine three here so i basically just double clicking it will pop up this and then all you have to do is is do that is wiggle the the actual um hardware uh controller a little bit and it will assign it here and then you just click ok and then it's assigned um and like i said there are a lot of options here now if the thing that you're looking for isn't here um fsui pc is an alternate way to do it now the reason i don't use fsui pc for my controlling system is that p3d has it all right built in by default and if you use a third party which i'm not knocking anybody who does use fsr pc to, to configure their hardware it is a valid option i know many people who prefer it but you're adding another variable to your sim by having your control system you know um controlled by a third party and you'll have all these options set up as well so if you do use fsui pc i recommend coming in and deleting anything in here and anything in here and then just using fsui pc um, if you use both you're more likely going to run into control issues in the sim and not know what's going on you'll be thinking it could be the plane that is the problem when it's probably the fact that there is a conflict between the default setup of keybinds or access controls or fsui pc there's somewhere there's a conflict and that is what is causing you the trouble so remove the extra variable and just use the default system because it does honestly have 
everything. So for axis controls, you'll use the axis assignments menu and you'll, like I showed you there, and then export your profile and set, save it. So if you do flick between single engine, twin engine and four engine planes, or even a three engine DC-10, um, you have a profile to use and then you just load up your profile and you're good to go. Now, if you keep key assignments now i use key assignments for my my gear and for brakes again everything is here and there is a lot of default and in all honesty you probably won't use but i have changed a couple of things for default like the altimeter reset default isn't q but for me q and h that just makes sense so i've changed that and again there are a lot of options here on how you change it and how you change it is exactly the same make sure that you select your controller that you're going to use first because each one of these controllers has a separate profile attached to it so if i was to select the Cytec throttle quadrant 2 you know that actually does have buttons on it and i can configure the buttons to whatever i want it's actually got three buttons but with two um, clickable spots which means i have six buttons per Cytec controller which means i have 12 buttons available to me um, and there is actually for each Cytec throttle quadrant controller there is actually three more additional hidden buttons when you take your um your axis controller and you push it all the way down that's a button as well when it hits the bottom so in actual fact you know apart from the three the the sort of um six configurable buttons i have additional three so there is 18 configurable buttons if you have two sighted throttle control units um, and if you're using a, a throttle or a yoke which also has buttons the key assignments will be done here in exactly the same way you just double click and then you push your button and it will register it and then it will you know if it is tied to something else it will when you click ok it'll say well hang on this is tied to something else do you wish to continue and of course if you wish to continue you will and it will automatically delete the other assignment as well or override it rather but i do recommend anything you're not going to use here just come in and delete because if you're using your keyboard and you know and you accidentally you know hit the c button by accident you know um <laughs> you, you know you're going to trigger uh, something in the sim and actually not know what it is but like as you can see i, I do use quite a lot of this but um <laughs> exit piece really immediately <laughs> but yeah it's pretty simple it, it and also you can actually control like set up the calibration now i like for your for your yoke or your sit stick whichever you happen to use um you can set up the sensitivity and a null zone don't copy my settings because these are particular to my hardware each hardware will be different it also depends on the windows calibration so if you open up the classic control panel go to hardware and sound here and devices and printers it will show you all of your things here literally right click go to properties uh, sorry uh, just right click on here and go to game controller settings and make sure because this is another thing when you click advanced that should actually say like i was on the wingman extreme that should actually say wingman extreme click ok and then when you click on that and click on properties you're actually then calibrating to windows your hardware and i really recommend calibrating to windows you can run through the calibration feature first um, and that will make sure windows is on board with your hardware because if you find that you're playing as you're controlling it lists to the left or right your actual hardware yoke or stick might be miscalibrated and windows is adding like an extra three degrees of something you know so make sure you run through the game controller calibration for all of your things and just make sure that they all say the right thing so that one will be that one that one should be the second one i mean it might be the other way around actually so they click okay um and and then once you've done that like i think even clicking that brings up the windows default yeah it does so you can actually calibrate it from within p3d um, i don't recommend using simple control untick that and of course if you're flying by keyboard well good luck to you or you're a legend i've i've never flown by keyboard but that would make an interesting video to try and fly a plane by keyboard 
and in the other controls these are i don't recommend force feedback um if you have got a force feedback um control unit it's up to you if you want to use it i don't and i don't recommend it um i don't know if it's actually working correctly so i untick it you use the direct input and advanced mouse controls and enable controller and that is all you really need uh you can enable joystick camera smoothing but it lowers your frame rate i find in the sim so um i wouldn't recommend it but these three menus here key assignments access assignments and control calibration is everything you need to set up your hardware for your sim and then you just click ok and it's all in there and it's all done yeah that's right and now that i've got my four you know throttle unit set up i can control all four you know which is really handy especially if i want to do turns i can actually do engine turns rather than you know having to like brake and constantly like um like i'll show you um if i was to actually you know head off now um i c it would take me a long time to actually turn this plane around because uh, the faster it goes the harder to turn but if i up my engines on one side i literally just turn on the spot you know and and that's what pilots would do with tail draggers they would actually steer the plane via the engines and uh, if there was two engines that's actually how you would steer your plane because there is no control unit for your wheels they literally are just wheels and so you'd actually have to turn the plane not using your rudder but using your engine power to maneuver your plane um and that's 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 how you can do it um so save your profile and that way when you load up inside of in the plane that has two engines you load your dual engine configuration up and if you have a four engine plane like a 747 or the stratocruiser or any other plane with four engines you load up your four engine configuration and you're all good to go it's very simple it's very easy and it's just an alternative version or an alternative way to use um alongside fs ui pc which i think is what pe most people do but guys it's another variable of confusion in the sim when things go wrong and honestly the default system has everything you need there is nothing missing now if there is something i've missed in this video please put it in the comments down below and i will do a follow-up video to this if there's something you're having a particular control issue with and you just don't know how to solve it let me know and i will do a follow-up video uh in the future um we're gonna take this baby to the air actually let's let's uh let's let's actually make it worthwhile this video and we'll take this baby to the air um, I'm not actually running any live weather, um, and I'm not really running live time. I'm, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon in the sim, um, but I don't think it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon in Grand Canary right now. So um, I'm not going to bother setting up lights and stuff like that. This is just a quick and dirty takeoff. So I'm not, in fact, do you know what? I'm going to take off from this viewpoint, guys. Here we go. Let's rock and roll this baby oh yeah i mean the engines are probably burning right now because i've just put my throttles to maximum so we're gonna take this baby i've never done this before by the way we're gonna take this baby to the air i think it's ready to take off to be honest let's get her in the air there she goes wheels up boom she is flying oh yeah look at her go oh yeah and i think we can have flaps up at this point i'm pretty sure we're probably going fast enough Get them flaps up, boys. Oh, look at her. She is such a gorgeous plane to fly, guys. I seriously hope somebody brings this plane to Microsoft in the future. Um, you have to excuse the, uh, the stutters. Recording. I've just installed some mesh, to be honest. So, uh, And recording the video, I haven't configured, reconfigured the settings. So, But yeah. I really hope somebody gets you this in Microsoft because this plane is such a joy to fly. And this, these windows here are where the first class cabin were. You know, this is such an old plane from the 30s and 40s, I think. Um, might even be the 50s. But 
the first class cabin was on the lower decks and then the cargo and the rest and like this isn't modeled inside there is no modeling inside sadly for this plane and i so wish there was because they had beds on board as a configuration setup they had um you know a dining area down there they're basically like a smoking room for the rich and famous um because this was designed for long haul flights and flying high as well and i think i'm actually losing power here obviously i'm not flying it properly but we're just you know doing a quick flight like i said this is default weather here so i have to excuse the clouds the you know it's not in fact this is what would happen if i start this is the difference between using active sky not using Active sky so this is this is not using active sky this is default weather and you wait and see what happens when active sky takes hold of it It'll literally just change. It'll probably wipe it because it's probably got no clouds in Grand Canary right now. Boom. There you go. <laughs> no clouds in Grand Canary. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, if there's any questions you've got, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, I do a giveaway for Sim Market Vouchers. 50 euros um, can be yours. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and... Um, you know put a comment down in a p3d video like this one and um at the end of each month uh so the last three or four days i'll go live with a vlog i'll announce the giveaway winner and then all you have to do is contact me on my about page and i'll send your 50 euros of sim market vouchers out to you that you can then go and purchase flight sim add-ons on the sim market website for any simulator you want 50 euros guys that's nothing to be sniffed at guys get in on it 50 euros every single month, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Take care, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.